Sabetic, the media specialist at Chesapeake High School, and today I'd like to talk about the seven habits of highly effective teens. I hope you enjoyed watching the video of Stephen Covey and the Big Rock demonstration. I think you'll see some connections between that video and what I'm about to say. I'm going to focus on the first three habits, which Stephen calls the private victory. This is habit number one. Be proactive. It's all about uh, being taking responsibility for our decisions and for our own lives. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Thinking about our mission, our roles, and our goals. And habit number three, first things first. That's all about prioritizing, managing our time. The next thing you'll see is uh, found in this little book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens Workbook. And it's called The D Great Discovery. I think all of your students will enjoy doing this because it's all about them. It's focusing on what their likes are, their dislikes, their talents. And it will help them to learn a little bit more about themselves. But more importantly, it will help them to detect what their mission is. OK, the next thing is the time quadrants. This is a really good handout to help students uh, find out where they're spending most of their time. Of course, we want to encourage our students to spend their time in quadrant number two, not urgent, but important, where they plan ahead uh, and they goal set. Unfortunately, many of our students are procrastinators. They wait to the last minute and they try to do everything and they get all stressed out at the last minute. Uh, many of our students are yes men, uh, meaning they're, they're going to follow the crowd. Um, they'll do whatever anybody else is doing instead of actually living their own lives. Uh, quadrant number four, the slacker. The kid that stays up till midnight playing video games majoring in minor things. What we can do to help encourage students to spend most of their time in, in quadrant number two, the prioritizer, is the Stephen Covey um, or the seven habit calendar. And the way the calendar works is you um, review your mission to review your roles. Because as demonstrated in the video, our roles are, are our big rocks, and it's all about relationships. And then a three, identify our goals. So here, um, the first thing he has up here is um, our role as a healthy person, uh, because without our health, we can do nothing. Uh, so uh, what one thing can you do this week to be a healthy person? Uh, and then writing down the rest of our roles, and then think of what one thing can you do this week, what one big rock can you have uh, that will make a difference in each of those roles. Once you have all the roles, in, uh, your big rocks in, you can uh, put them in the calendar, and then, and then put all the little rocks in there. Okay, these are just a few tips that might help our students to be a little more successful. Um, we, have, we have lots of these books in the building and uh, a lot of them in the library. Uh, if you would like to come and check them out, come and see me. Uh, any questions, come and see me. Thank you for listening and have a good day.